the cloud cover increase if you're outside today it is very very mild look at this we are 73 degrees our our warmest day in some time we've had a couple uh, nice days before this clouds are increasing as i mentioned notice the dew point in the mid 50s there is some moisture in the air the main threat with any storms that develop tonight would be wind and hail already getting a couple storms that are producing some small hail out to the west how about we check out radar and you can see the activity across the state this one little cell down in southwestern now would produce some hail and now we're watching uh, this cell that moving out of Audubon County and headed over into parts of uh, Carroll County and sliding eventually up and through Story County. Going to maybe catch the Yale area. This cell right in through here has produced some small hail as it moved through Hamlin. And then we look at our severe weather risk tonight. It's generally along and south of Interstate 80. Again, the main threat will be wind and hail. Looks like there'll be a bigger severe weather outbreak uh, down to the southern plains where they have a higher likelihood of possibly seeing some tornadic activity down there. Numerous warnings right now in Texas. So here's the line of storms moving on through. I think it'll really intensify as it slides to the east. We may get a couple rounds in the metro. Then the front is through. We get on the back side. We'll get some wraparound showers, colder air and cloud cover moving in on Thursday. Here's some evening showers. Now watch this to the northwest. This will wind on up and we'll mix in some wet snowflakes early on Friday morning, especially northwest of the metro. And I can't uh, rule out a light dusting of accumulation there. I know we're talking about a little bit of snow. And then Friday, we'll see things clear out. Saturday looks like it'll bring sunshine, but a whole lot of wind. Now, anytime you look at rainfall with computer models, you're going to get a discrepancy here and there. What it does do is show a good range. So look at this for a range. It's trying to zone in on where it'll see the heavier rain, but anywhere from around two tenths to over an inch with some heavier amounts where you get underneath those thunderstorms. So the forecast for tomorrow, temperatures in the 50s. Osceola, your high 55 with just a few showers on Thursday. Winds get a little bit gusty. Guthrie Center 55. Corning high tomorrow 56 degrees. Pocahontas 55 with some morning showers. Fort Dodge 54. Highs in Webster City, 54 degrees. Grundy Center, a bit colder there at 49. Knoxville, your high, 54 degrees. And Cordon, 54 with just a few showers. Forecast tonight, thunderstorms scattered. Some of these could be strong. They'll end late, a low down at 48 degrees. Tomorrow, that high, 55 northwest winds. Let's call it blustery with scattered showers. Here's your eight-day forecast. Friday early morning, again, may mix in a wet snowflake, especially northwest of the metro. Windy on Saturday, breaking free to sunshine Sunday. Oh, yeah, 71, and then some 60s and 50s next week.